In this video, let's talk about how do we actually draw the structures of simple alkanes. All right, so given a name on the exam, how do we come up with the structure? So let's say on an exam, you're given uh, 2, 4, 5 trimethyl heptane. How do we draw the structure for this molecule? Well, the first thing I like to start off with is the parent, right? And the parent in this is actually heptane, right? So that means I'm going to draw a carbon chain that's seven carbons long, right? So I have two, four, I'm sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Now I could have drawn it as a, a in the long version. I just decided to draw. The, 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 the seventh uh, carbon, the, si the sixth and seventh carbon downwards, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. So there goes my heptane. Now, what it's telling me is that on carbon two, I have a methyl group. Now, I'm going to start from the left hand side, so I'm going to label this as carbon two. So on carbon two, I have a methyl group. On carbon four, I also have a methyl group. So this is two, three, four. So on carbon four, I also have a methyl group. And on carbon five, I also have a methyl group. Right? So this will be a plausible structure for two, four, five trimethyl heptane. Now, I could have I could have started at the opposite end. It doesn't matter. Again, I could have started from the right hand side. However, I decided to start from the left hand side. So it's getting their feet wet. How about if they had given us three ethyl? octane. How do you come up with the structure? Well, again, I'm going to draw the parent, right? So the parent is octane. So I'm going to draw a carbon chain, continuous carbon chain. That's eight carbon chains long. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, what it's telling me is that on carbon three, I have a ethyl group. Now I could start at the right hand side or I could start counting from left hand side. In this case, I like counting from the left. So in this case, on carbon three, I have a ethyl group, which is two carbon chains long. Okay. And this is a simple formula again, three ethyl octane. Now, what if they had given us this one? Two, two, four, four, tetra, methyl hexane right how do we come up with the structure for this molecule well hexane is the parent so i'm going to draw a carbon chain that's six carbons long so this is two three four five six so there goes my parent chain now what it's telling you is that we have four methyl groups in total hence the tetra and notice that it's given 2, 2, and 4, 4. So that means that, remember, in the, in the rule says that if you have the same substituent on the same carbon, then each must be given their names and each must be given a number. So in other words, if I have two methyl groups on carbon 2, then I should have 2, 2 dimethyl. In this case, I have four methyl groups total. So that's why we have the uh, trimethyl. So on carbon 2, it is telling us that we have two methyl groups there, hence that's why there's two different, there's two separate twos in the IUPAC name. So on carbon two, I have two methyl groups. On carbon four, I also have two methyl groups. And so the structure for this molecule looks something like this. How about if they had given us a name like this? We had one dash bromo dash four dash chloro dash five dash methyl heptane. How do we come up with the structure for this molecule? Well, again, the first thing I'm going to do is look at my parent. My parent is heptane, so I'm going to draw a continuous carbon chain that's seven carbons long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? 
Now, on carbon one, it's telling us that we have a bromine. So in this case, anywhere, either from the left or the right, I could choose my carbon one. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose a right. It doesn't matter. I could have choose a left. But again, on carbon one, we have a bromine atom. That's what it's telling us. On carbon four, we have a chlorine atom. Right? So we have carbon one, two, three, four. And so on carbon four, we have a chlorine atom. On carbon five, it says that five methyl, we have a methyl group. Right? And so this would be the structure for one bromo, four chloro, five slash methyl. Now, let's do a different example. What if they had given us two, three, five dash trimethyl dash four dash propyl heptane? All right, I want you guys to pause the video and try this one. Well, the first thing I'm going to do again is identify the parent chain, right? Which is heptane, so seven carbons long. So in this case, I could go two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there goes my parent chain. Now, on carbon two, it's telling us that we have a methyl group, hence we have trimethyl. So if there's three methyl groups in total, but on carbon two, we have a methyl group. So I'm starting, I'm going to come from the left here again, and I could start at anywhere, but in this case, I'm going to start on the left. So on carbon two, we have a methyl group. On carbon three, we also have a methyl group. So we have carbon one, two, three, four, five on carbon five we have a methyl group as well. So there goes my methyl group. And I'm missing my propyl group. On carbon four, we have a propyl group, right? Which should be three carbons long. So one, two, three. And so this would be a structure for two, three, four, uh, two, two, three, five, trimethyl slash four propyl. Hmm? And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we actually arise the structures from the IUPAC names themselves.